Hey guys, morning. Uh, this is Divikan here from Neurosic. Uh, today we will try to learn about a uh, new uh, uh, application from Xamarin Forms, which is called the Xamarin Workbooks. Right. So this is something new that uh, come out recently from Xamarin Workbook. From Xamarin, they this is used to create the. Uh, not to create but to learn about Xamarin that uh, of any specific controls and how it works and any of the control that you are not aware of and if you want to test and see how that control actually works in the uh, you can actually uh, do your uh, homework and uh, see how the application works so basically this is uh, uh, has a, it supports console, Xamarin iOS, Xamarin Android, Xamarin Mac, both the mobile and desktop profiles. Okay, so we'll get started quickly. So if you want to create a Xamarin Forms application in Xamarin Workbook, you must create either Xamarin iOS or Xamarin Android Workbook. Okay, in this case, I am creating Xamarin iOS. Right. So either if you want to create as an Android, you go Android and Mac and mobile other options as well. But we will be sampling out with this I mean, iOS in this case. Okay. So this discussion obviously focuses more on the iOS uh, from uh, iOS application point of view. So all you need to know is to add few things that very important thing that you need to know would be the, the file and how to add a package as well into it. Right. So this is where you add the NuGet packages. This is Xamarin workbook, but still it needs to know about the packages that you will be working on. So by default, I think it has Xamarin Forms pre-installed into it. So you don't have to pull up that NuGet package. But if you are anything outside of it, then uh, you might need to use this uh, feature to actually add the required uh, uh, packages to your project and see how that works as well. So basically, in a, in a nutshell, this is a very handy uh, and easier way to learn Xamarin. Okay, so this uh, something called as hash r command to reference the Xamarin forms assemblies. Okay, so what we'll do is like in this case, I, I'll do Xamarin dot forms dot co. Right. So in this case, if I press enter, what happens is it goes to a next line which I don't want. I want to uh, do shift enter so that it just stays on the same uh, square there. And uh, I want to add a few more references like Xamarin uh, dot uh, forms dot uh, XAML, right? And shift enter again, uh, hash r. And uh, I want to add uh, Xamarin uh, forms dot flat form platform right and shift enter again uh, star hash xamarin forms dot platform dot ios is a being i want to work on ios simulator today okay if i run it there's no errors on it so which, which at the same time we don't have uh, anything to run on the uh, on the simulator so we just leave it like that right so that's one and now you also want to if you standard using directives uh, directives here so it's something like uh, using system is the one that we're after using xamarin forms it's the other one and using xamarin dot forms dot platform dot i o s and now if i run and see uh it's just connected to the agent and we'll see and uh, still we have a default application running in there which is has nothing in it right so it has created uh, uh, there's no ui controls on the simulator as you can see but we can always add them but very first step to define a class that drives from an application that creates Xamarin forms uh, and the content paid object and set its uh, its main uh, page property. This is the way we do it. So we are going to define something called as app, right? And uh, we, it's going to be inherited from the something called as application. And we have we need a constructor 
bread and we call it as app as well and there's something called as a main page in it right and this we want to fill that with the content page so if you don't know about the content page content page is something like a html page in a in a the, the in a html uh, in the web world right so this is something that we, this is a very basic page that goes into the uh, the phone application like in this case you the white page that you are seeing that that could be a content page as well by default there's nothing in there yet but uh, when our application starts this is what it's going to show right if i run it now and uh, you still don't see anything obviously we just added one page in it and the uh, content page is uh, obviously the simplest kind of page in xamarin forms this is a page that will contain all your programs uh, xamarin forms visual elements right now you must execute your your startup code and uh, you first need to call the uh, forms init method to initialize xamarin forms right uh, you normally do all these things in the app de delegate in a in a um, in a, on an ios project right so you can initialize the app class defined uh, here this is app class we defined it and this guy has to be initialized from the app delegate when you're actually creating an application but in the in the the workbook you don't have to you can just write in the next uh, uh, play area that we have here and um, it will do the job for you okay and then we have to call a create view controller method on the page that the app class can create so we'll see how it works right uh, or what you need to do is like we need to first as I said we need to initialize the xamarin forms in it right and that's what it is about and now what we want to do is we want to call the app class we'll name it as app equal to new app so what happens here is uh, it will uh, call the the method this method and it will show the main page and then the main page contains the content page right so that's the idea right and now what you want to do is keyboard key window which is the the root uh, view controller in our case we have to say this is the native so natively we want to set the uh, content page onto the uh, onto the ios uh, into the ios which has the root view control which is like a starting page for that application how we do that we say app dot main page and we want to convert that main page into a create view controller right so what what it does is it will convert our xamarin forms pages into the root view view controller kind of uh, things and what it does is it it will show up on the same on the on the ui Okay, at this point it, it will not render because there are a few more things to be done right so what we want to do is like um, uh, at this point uh, we if the xamarin forms program running on the ios already can get the access of, uh, of the contents page instance that the app class constructor created okay so content page we say page equal to app dot main page okay as content page All right so now we uh, want to access our content page here that we are defined defi and we want to assign something to it okay so what we want to do we want to add a label to it for example i have a label called label called new label All right and i want to give a text saying noticing technologies right and now what i want to do is i want to assign that to this page that i was talking about which is defined in the app class right the content i'm setting that to a label okay now what we'll do is we'll just run this application okay as you can see we have the neuroseq technologies on the simulator but it is it's padding is set to uh, it's overlaying it so there's a problem there it's not the kind of problem but it overlaps the ios status bar which is how the ios works but uh, to make it show a bit below what we can do is page dot padding equal to new thickness and uh, the thickness is 
like 0 comma this is the top and these are the sides so sorry th th this is a different platform so like uh, every thickness comes with each platform so in this case ios is 20 we are setting to so the android windows and other ones are set to zero so if i run it now that will be more down okay so thickness so as you can see sorry it's it is left right and bottom okay right so the very top is 20 that we are saying vertical thickness is 20 and uh, um, these are set to other others are set to zero right the top is only set to 20 my bad okay now what we want to do now is uh, if you want to be uh, if, if yeah, assume that I want to bring that to center of this page okay how do I do that so uh, I'm testing out basically how the label works how it works and uh, I'm trying to understand how the label aligns itself on the on the on the on the simulator okay and the same will apply to the actual phones itself so I want my label to be horizontally centered okay do we have something called the layout options dot center okay and you can see as you can see it is centered right now as you can guess label dot vertical options so i want it to vertically align options dot center right and now if i run it it's centered there so well, how is it doing it this is how this is how this is the you get advantage of xamarin workbook so it's helping you to understand immediately and see how actually it works so instead of using your imagination to see assuming things that okay this is going to center and uh, so without seeing it and uh, this is actually gives you the proof that saying that this is going to be actually be working in style you know how you can confidently code saying that you can actually um, uh, you know how it works in, works basically so you assume that I want to change the color right so you say color dot red and uh, you can change the color so you can see and what are the things that are involved and what, how it's doing and as you can immediately see the changes there okay so that's why uh, there are different ways to change the color as well. The one way by default it took is the uh, RGB format. So you can also assign manually different um, color options as well. So you can also, for example, if I want to change the background color of a page, the whole page. But right? so if I say background color equal to new color, right? So I'm going to set 1.0 comma 1.0 comma and uh, it'll say 0 comma 1.0 and that color would be yellow as you can see it is set the color change to the yellow so uh, this is uh, uh, where you can actually quickly see the output on the screen right so if I want to change the the font family of a label okay i'm testing out label so i want to try it out everything so font uh, family would be i want to set that two times new roman now the font is changed so that's how it works okay so a little bit more things like label dot uh, font size equal to 30 and now you can see it's increased right so like, like that you can do uh, there are a few things that you can always uh, uh, see how it works and um, uh, and test it out different controls in it so in short uh, that's a quick sample that i wanted to show you guys how the the workbook uh, helps us to understand the, um, the the different controls if you want to test out and see how it works with the xamarin forms and uh, not just forms you can also use xamarin ios and also xamarin uh, android and also mac applications as well so this very handy tool i do recommend you all guys to test it out and um, and see and let me know if there are any questions thank you